Oh God. <laughs> Since I can remember, my dad has told me stories about him growing up riding his first motorcycle with his sister, which was a Honda Z50. Now when I do the math for when my dad was born, I figured that the year he probably had would be somewhere around 68 or 69, those really early Z50s, the little sort of iconic mini bikes that are really hard to find these days. Now I happened to stumble upon one that was in pretty rough shape and at first I wasn't gonna get it and I actually went and looked at it because I thought it needed too much work but it had compression. It felt like I could potentially get it running but uh, it just felt like a little bit too big of a project for me. But I've wanted one of these for a long time. They're a great thing to really learn how to work on stuff. They're very simple, very easy to use. Everything is like tiny. So after I looked at it, I went back home thought about it for a bit and then I realized that my parents were coming to visit in like a week. So I decided I was gonna get it. I probably paid too much for it, but I figured that I could get it, surprise my dad, and we could try to get it running together. So that's essentially what this video is. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is kind of a crazy story and I think you're really gonna like it, so stick around. All right guys, we're about to leave to go pick up the Honda Z50 and looks like we have about an hour and 20 minutes. When I get the bike, I'll either take it somewhere and show you guys or show you it when we're there so you guys can kind of see what condition it's in and sort of get a feel for what it needs and then we're gonna bring it home and hopefully start a little bit of stuff on it tonight I want to leave some of the stuff for when my dad gets here so we can work on it together and try to get it running um, but yeah I'll show you guys where it's at right now and kind of go over some stuff so see you guys in a few minutes when we get there hour and a half for me hour and 20 minutes for me but like you know zero seconds for you all right guys, here she is, a 1969 Honda Z50 or Honda Mini Trail as they call them. These are incredibly rare. And as you can see, this one is pretty roachy. And it's missing a few things that I can see that are not original. Stuff like this is original, original exhaust, original front fender. That's pretty cool, it says Boise Honda right there. That's interesting, I didn't, I didn't even see that. Anyways, bunch of original stuff, original tank with the emblem, original bars that are slightly bent, which these all kind of are. And then, this is not original. And then I've got a correct seat coming. This seat is not right, it doesn't say Honda on the back. So I have an original, kind of roachy seat coming, but this works for now. I believe this is not original, but that's all right. This is the second year that they made the Z50, 68 was the first year that the mini trail came to the United States. It didn't have a headlight, uh, didn't have a chain guard. A couple other things were different, but it was pretty much the same as this. No uh, shocks, it's, it's like a hard tail basically. But this is a 69. They call these uh, silver tags. So right here is the silver tag that usually has a VIN number. I don't know, it looks like it's been either worn off or I'm not sure what's going on there. This might not be the original silver tag. This is though. But yeah, it turns over. It's got good compression. Really good compression. And original carburetor, these are super rare. And the original air filter, these are also very rare. I am going to attempt to put some gas in it and just see if she'll start. And we'll go from there. It needs to have a chain put on. The original chain came with it, but it's not on it right now. And other than that, she's uh, <laughs> she's a beauty. You know, bikes like this, I don't know, there probably could be a better find out there than this Z50. You know, there's ones that I probably could have gotten for cheaper that maybe needed less. But I really like that this is one of the early ones. This is probably what my dad would have been riding when he was 11 or 12 years old. And you know, bikes like this, I don't know, maybe you guys don't view motorcycles this way, but to me, this bike, it has a story, you know? And somebody bought it new in Boise. Yeah, here we go, Boise Honda. This thing was bought in Boise, Idaho by somebody for their kid maybe or for themselves and they enjoyed it, but then somewhere along the way, it stopped being enjoyed and got left out to sort of die and no longer serve its purpose. And I think even though it might cost a little bit more money than probably should be spent to get it back to where it's usable, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool to bring a machine back to life. And 
I want to leave it just like this. It's kind of cool that it's pretty much all original and a little bit roachy. It's, it's old, you know, it's a lot older than me. She's been around a lot longer than me, so she's got some scars on her, but. All right, so I put a little gas in it and turned the fuel on and it started for some reason. <laughs> Start it. So I, um, it's, the pet cock is leaking, so when I turn the fuel on, I leak gas all over myself and then I turn it off, but I had enough gas in there to start it. So I'm gonna do that again. So, leaking gas, but we're getting some into the carburetor. So that's probably enough. Let's see if we can start it. All right guys, we got the original seat on the bike. So over here is the seat that I had showed you. Like I said, that wasn't original. Really nice, honestly. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice original Honda seat for an early Z50 with the split seam, the sort of like textured top and the patina on the seat matches the bike. Like if you didn't know and you saw this, you would think that's the original seat for this bike. So, looks really cool. And yeah, I got a bunch of other stuff to do. All right, so I spent about an hour getting the tire off the rear, t the rear wheel and taking it apart, getting the strip broken or whatever it is, the seal broken on the tire. It was all just an absolute pain. But it's done and I just put air in it and I think it works. This is the first time I've ever done a full wheel tire myself. <laughs> so anyways, this is, here's, here she is. I think we got like 32 PSI, so it's probably not, I don't know, probably do a little more, but it looks good. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm gonna put it back on the bike and see how she looks. And then we'll have a roller, cause that rear wheel was, that rear tire was flat. The front tire is holding air fine. I'm gonna still put a new tire on it, I think. But as of right now, if we wanted to ride it, we could if we got everything connected, so. All right, like my little mini trail stand I made here. Anyways, got everything put back together. Got the new wheel on. Honestly, looks pretty solid. Rolls pretty good. And uh, here's our uh, brake action. So brake maybe needs to be adjusted a bit, but that's where I've got it. Got a little project for us. Isn't the garage door opener wonderful? Oh my gosh, where'd you get a Honda 50 at? In Oregon. Holy crap. Holy crap, you talk about deja vu. What year do you think it is? Wow, it's really close to what we had. So it's a 69. 60, is it really? Yeah, it's a 69. We had one just like this one and we had a blue one. Okay, wait, 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 so listen. So how old were you? I was 13. Yeah, so listen, this is... 19. Yeah, so you had 69s. These could be the exact ones. Yeah, so the 69 comes in red and blue. That's what we had. Yeah. Did you? No, I haven't messed with that, okay. honestly. You think it might need to have the idle turned up? I don't know. Right there. Okay, so that's the choke half? Yeah, it's halfway up. Okay. Well, it's running better than it was. Oh, look at that, she just needed to warm up.
Now, runs good, right? Runs perfect. Yeah. I mean, you bought a spark plug, I would put it in. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I don't think you got to do anything with the points. This just hasn't ran. Yeah, it just hasn't ran in years. It's just getting worse and worse. But here, try to rev it a little with the throttle. Wow. Uh, I adjusted the... Uh, you adjusted the mixture or the idle? The mix. I turned it a half a turn counterclockwise. Oh, God. <laughs> That takes skill. You got a leg cramp. You got a leg cramp. <laughs> What's that? It needs to be yeah. Need to get the Let's do it. Does it feel good? Holding it with a needle nose. <laughs> All right, so we've got an actual grip on here, even though we don't have that actual grip, but we got enough for you to hold on to. Yeah, you can, you can now you can ride it and see if it shifts. I don't I have the choke off, so. You guys want to see him ride it? Dad, wait two seconds, apparently. He's not waiting. Oh my God, first kick. <laughs> yeah, put a helmet on. Oh my god. It seems like it wants flesh. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at him go. I can't believe it's running this good, honestly. I wonder if he's going to let me ride it. Dude, he's hauling. <laughs> it needs the choke? It'll only run with the run choke. We gotta do something. Oh, it's kind of, oh, I guess it's just wet. It's like got steam coming off of it. Oh, that's water. I want it's to do water flow. Oh, nice. Alright, I want to try. All right, now he's riding the real bike. It's like a brand new bike. It feels like a new motorcycle. Oh yeah, it's oh it's like twice as fast as the Triumph. Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing is like a new motorcycle. Basically, it's it's fast. Yeah. <laughs> so which one do you take? This one or the the mini bike? You'll take that one. Okay. <laughs>